to uh, which of those cities that you visited do you like most? Oh, that's a difficult question. I don't think I could uh, choose. I like the I like the cities along the coast. I like the uh, the cities, um, the um, Mediterranean and Aegean cities. But I also like the desert. Uh, the desert has its own beauty, and there's so much history there, with the history of Abraham. Um, uh, discovering the one God, the father of all our religions. Um, I really enjoyed uh, Ephesus. I was very impressed by the uh, beautifully preserved Greco-Roman ruins that we found in the country. Uh, retracing the steps of some of the major figures in my own religion was very meaningful. Uh, very hard to to choose. So, um, about the, the, the historical um, values, the, the history of Turkey and, and the, the contemporary Turkey, like the, the existing Turkey, um, how would you think their uh, perception or behavior to to outsiders, the, the foreigners, or, or in, in general the other faith members, like any, any tolerant way or respectful way? The Turkish people were consistently warm and accepting. Uh, sometimes we were concerned that our behavior would not be proper and that we would do the incorrect thing. But I soon discovered that the Turkish people are so accepting of strangers and their tradition of hospitality is so strong that a stranger can almost do no wrong. They would never do anything to embarrass a person who perhaps made some small error in etiquette. They're always very accepting and very tolerant and uh, very, very positive. They respect they respect everyone they meet and they show a great deal of compassion and caring for other people. Probably more so than Americans, in fact. So, uh, is, it, is, it, is it a country of um, kind of mixed history, like we can encounter Roman, Greek, as well as Persian, Mongol, and all sorts of civilizations that has left something and lately the Ottomans and, and the, the, the Muslim Turks. Uh, how would you think this great history and this, uh, this idea of uh, hospitality go along with each other? Is that a new synthesis or, or is that something hopeful? I think it's very hopeful. Um, Turkey has an astounding history, thousands of years uh, of history. America is such a young country, by contrast, there, it's, you can not even compare the history of the two countries. And I think the Turkish people retain parts of all those many cultures that have been through the country. They have kept much of the beautiful architecture and significant places, uh, preserve them, and um, treasure them for what they are, for parts of their own history. I noticed that they were very careful in preserving artifacts and, and mosaics um, and architecture from the Christian tradition. Um, and they revere those parts of the Christian tradition as they revere those remnants of Judaism and other things in that country. So they respect all religions and they have maintained this respect unto the present day. I think we could all learn something from that. So um, 
like before and after the trip, the Turkey trip, um, would you say you were uh, encouraged or, or improved in, in the hope for um, achieving a world peace? I was very encouraged. I believe this idea of interfaith dialogue is absolutely essential in trying to achieve world peace. Because unless we can all learn to talk to each other and respect each other and honor each other's beliefs, then there's very little hope for the world. So, um, along uh, the other part, the, uh, so the trip had, did the trip have uh, any, any new ideas in you, like kind of sparkled some new projects or some future things that you said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this and, and that, and it sparkled in you? The trip made me want to learn more about Islam and more about other religions, in fact. I know very little about other religions. Uh, someone on the trip pointed out that we often know very little about our own religions. So the more we learn about other people, the better we understand them, and the more we understand that they're very much like us. So I was inspired to learn as much as I can about other beliefs, more about the Turkish people, certainly more about Islam. Um, I think there's hope for all of us if we try to understand each other. Um, since we've been home, uh, we've, those of us who went to Turkey together, have been getting together about once a month to meet and talk about things we can do in the future to bring about better understanding to try to make new friends and tell them about interfaith dialogue and show them that uh, it can be a very beneficial force in the world. So we're always full of ideas. Great. Uh, so would you come and would you advise it to others? Oh, I'd love to go back to Turkey. It was really a uh, life-altering experience in a very positive way. Um, I would very much like to go back and see the same places we visited again. Uh, and I would like to see some new places in Turkey as well. It's a very beautiful country. Would you advise to your friends and colleagues? Or? Oh yes. I would advise uh, anyone to go to Turkey who has the opportunity. It's a great trip for many, uh, for many reasons. Um, Strictly from a traveler's standpoint, uh, it's a wonderful place to visit because there's so many inter interesting things to see and do. Uh, the transportation is very, very good. The airlines are excellent. Uh, the hotels and the tourist amenities are very nice and the service is excellent. Uh, of course, that bears out the tradition of hospitality in the country. So I was, I was looking closely at the service. I'm in, in that line of business, and uh, the hospitality industry is uh, something that I watch very closely. I was very impressed. I, I often thought that I would like to bring some of the Turkish people home with me to help me teach hospitality classes to the front lines of the tourism industry. They did an excellent job. Uh, and that's the, the tourist viewpoint. And from the viewpoint of a human being who wants to learn about other cultures, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful place to visit. Uh, it's an eye-opening experience to uh, find how open and curious and interesting the Turkish people are. Uh, most of them spoke pretty good English, too. And I was embarrassed because I was very bad with Turkish. <laughs> But they were very tolerant of my of my attempts.